Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to be here in Armenia, having the opportunity to attend the ministerial conference on the Bologna process and joining your celebrations of Europe Day. The anniversary of the Schuman Declaration is a wonderful occasion to mark how European countries have overcome division to shape a shared future. On 9th of May 1950, Robert Schuman called for the unification of Europe. This was followed by a unique success story. Over the past 65 years, the European Union has seen unprecedented stability, prosperity and peace. And it has reached out to its neighboring regions. With Armenia, the EU shares years of excellent cooperation in the area of education. Since 2007, 727 Armenian students and staff have participated in Erasmus Mundus projects. Let me just tell you about one of them. Edit Sogomonian, an Armenian citizen, was awarded an Erasmus Mundus scholarship in 2010. This allowed her to graduate from the University of London and the University of Deusto in Spain in 2012 with a double master's degree in lifelong learning policy and management. Apart from achieving this academic degree, she also got the chance to experience firsthand the culture of two European countries and more. Today, Edith is the coordinator of the Armenian Lifelong Learning League, as well as country representative for Armenia at the Erasmus Mundus Students and Alumni Association. And this is just one of many wonderful stories. Erasmus Plus, the new EU program in the field of education, training, youth and sport for the period 2014 to 2020, will replace and bring together seven existing programs, including Tempus and Erasmus Mundus. I hope that Armenian students and universities will continue to apply. And I hope they will continue to benefit from these opportunities that should help us to create closer links between Armenia and the EU. First of all, though, I hope you enjoy the Europe Day Information Week in Armenia. Happy Europe Day to everyone.